Today we are here at Ponte's, one of my favorite Italian restaurants in Manhattan, and I am here with one of the most successful, gracious, chic, talented models and actresses of our time. She was born Rosalie Anderson McDowell, but the world and I have been mesmerized by her and fallen in love with Andy McDowell. How are you today? I'm just terrific. Several years ago, back in the <laughs> 80s, you kind of changed my career trajectory with those Calvin Klein commercials. They were really groundbreaking. It was subliminal. In my hometown, there's this bar called the Firefly. It's where all the real men hang out. So you know I'm going to have to ask you to do one of them for me, because, well, boys, if you're still waiting. That all stems from a prank telephone call that I made at the, probably the age of 13. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Isn't that terrible? Mm. We called a bar, my sister and I. The whole thing went, um, hey, Mike, if you're still waiting, hang in. My, <laughs> my sister, sister and I get, get better, better every day. In your early 20s, just before your big breakthrough, your mom passed away, and she was an alcoholic. How does that affect the choices in your life? One thing I've never told anybody, but I think things have changed so much and people have started talking. You know, people used to not talk about anything. Yeah. You know, you, you, you hid everything. You know, you hid being an alcoholic. Uh, there was so much shame attached to being an alcoholic. And, and we've progressed, thank goodness, because it's, it's, it's a disease. But also she had depression problems, which I've never spoken about. After she had me, she had a nervous breakdown, <laughs> which ended up leading to her alcoholism because she never drank before that. She's drank after her nervous breakdown. It's really unjust and unfair, but I, I also forgive her because I think that she was born in a time period where she was trapped and she was unable to get the, the kind of help that she really needed. But one picture urban legend has it kind of launched your your career, it was a, a British Vogue cover that got you the role of Tarzan in Four Weddings and a Funeral, Groundhog Day, Sex, Lies, and Videotape, which again, another groundbreaking project to be yeah, involved in. Yeah, changed the independent world completely. Everybody wanted to make a movie that made that much money for, yeah. that, for that little money. Because it was, it was like done with cameras? It was, no, no, it was done for a million dollars and it made an enormous amount of money. So then everybody wanted to make independent movies because they made money, you know, because it's how the business works. People like to make it's a money. Yeah. <laughs> we think it's the fun of acting and telling a story, but people want to make money. What advice would you give to a kid today that wants to be a model, that wants to be an actress, and thinks it's all so fabulous? Uh, it's, you know, it's a lot of work. And I tell, because my, my daughter, uh, Rainey, is, was in, did a movie with me. And, um, and she, but she also sings. She's got, so what God blew air in her lungs, she's got this <sighs> enormous, enormous voice. And um, I've told her to, it's always, she would tell you what I say. It came out of a book that Steven Soderbergh wrote, and it's, uh, it says that preparation plus talent equals luck. But you can't forget the preparation part, and you can constantly be doing that, even if you're not working. I didn't really make it until I turned 30. I hung in there for a long time. Yes. You're celebrating 25 years working with L'Oreal as an ambassador, spokesperson. That's one of the longest makeup campaigns, I think, ever for any celebrity or even a model. Tell me about the great work that you're doing with L'Oreal and ovarian cancer. I started doing, um, just doing it at home and, and being involved with the women in my community that had been diagnosed with ovarian cancer. And I became friends with, with